Hello Google Workspace fans. Ever since Google Vids was launched, our clients have been asking us, can I ditch Loom and other subscription services I'm paying to record my screen and use Google Vids instead? The answer is yes, and this is how you do it, how you use Google Vids to record your screen. So to get started, head over to Google Vids, go to vids.new. So type in vids.new into your address bar, hit enter, and it will straight take you straight into a new Google video project so you can get started immediately. The first thing you'll see once you've arrived is this splash screen. It's a splash screen promoting Gemini because Google Vids is intended for you to use AI to create video presentations, but we don't need to use any of those elements for what we're going to do. All you need to do is click the record button on the left hand side and then click the record now button as soon as that appears. It will then fade out into this screen. Because I've used the service before, my webcam has come straight on and you can see me. However, it's the first time you've used it, you need to grant some permissions. So when it fades to this screen, a window will appear asking you to grant permissions to your microphone and your webcam, sometimes your screen as well. If you don't grant those permissions, you won't be able to use it and it won't be able to record. So make sure you allow those permissions. If for some reason you missed that window, you can always get to it by clicking the icon in the top left of the address bar. No matter what the icon is, just click on here. This window will appear and you've got options to enable the permissions that are needed. Once you've enabled those permissions, it will reload and you'll be back here and you'll be able to see yourself. By default, it will always default to your webcam and your audio. So if I were to hit this record button now, what will happen is that it will record me and the audio but we want to use it for a screen share and record our screen that we can so we can send it to other people. So across the top, you've got four options. I'm going to go right to left. From the right, you've got audio only. So if you click that, it's just going to record your audio and then you can send that audio file across. If you click the audio and screen, that's going to record the screen and your narration over the top of it. This is the feature that most people are going to use. It's the camera and the screen. So it'll record your audio, it'll record your screen, and it'll record you as well. So if you want yourself to appear like in the bottom right hand corner, that's the option to pick. And as I said, the webcam by its own is the default. So let's click on camera and screen because that's the one that most people are going to use, especially if you're replacing something like Loom with uh, Google Vids. So we'll click on that icon. What happens next is two things. First off, this window will pop up asking you what you want to record. So you can click, a, click any um, Chrome tab that you've already got open, any window you've got open, or you can just record your entire screen. You'll also notice down in the bottom right hand corner here, it's got a preview of my video so I can see what I look like when I'm recording. So for this one, I'm just going to use the Kimberly IT website for the demo. So I'll click whatever I want to record and then I can just click the share button. As soon as you've done that, it will open up in the main screen so you can see what everyone else is going to see. When you're happy to get started with your recording, all you need to do is hit this red record button. So click that button and it will do a countdown, three, two, one, and it will start recording. So now whatever I do on the screen, it will capture my mouse cursor. It will capture me scrolling up and down. You know, if I want to highlight text as I'm talking about it or whatever I want to do, whatever guide I'm creating, that's now being recorded and um, for me to then share with people later on. So once you're happy with what you recorded and you want to finish the recording, all you have to do is click on this red uh, red um, square that where, where the circle was before. So click on that and that will end the recording. Now it's really important, you've ended the recording but nothing's being saved at the moment. So if you now go and close all your windows, you're gonna lose what you've just recorded. So what you need to do, and I don't know why Google Vids doesn't tell you to do this. It's really, really strange. It has no message that appears on screen to warn you about this. What you do need to do is go back to the tab where your original Google Vids project was in, and it will now show you this video, which is a mirror of what I'm currently looking at the screen, but it will give me some options. So in the top left-hand corner, I can restart the recording. So if I want to start the recording over again, I can hit the restart button. But remember, when you click this button, everything you've just recorded will be deleted. The other option I've got is preview, so I can watch back what I've just recorded. And probably the most important picture button is this insert button. Once you've clicked the insert button, the video that you've just recorded gets saved. If you don't click this insert button, you will lose the video. So I'm going to click insert, and now it's inserted that recording into Google Vids. You can see it's actually uploading the videos and saving them to Google Drive. So you want to wait for those to get to 100% before you start doing any editing. So once they hit 100%, you can start doing editing. So I've jumped a bit forward in time. Those videos that were saving have now been saved to Google Drive. And now I'm in the canvas. So I can do what I want with this video. I can edit it and change it. Um, so for example, the recording of myself, I can move that around and have it in a different part of the video quite easily. You've got the timeline at the bottom, so you can just skip to the timeline and, and see where you are. Uh, you can right click on the timeline and you can do things like edit, cut, and do all those kind of things if you want to shrink it down or make it longer. There's a lot of stuff you can do there. 
probably best to look through the, the Help Center articles on Google Vids to get the full controls of what you can do in the timeline. Um, one important thing you should do though is give your file a name, otherwise you're gonna end up with loads of untitled videos in your my drive area which is going to make it a right nightmare when you want to come and find the video again in the future so just for this purpose i'm just going to call it test three everything you make will automatically be saved into your my drive so if you want to save it somewhere else like in a shared drive just click on this move icon and then just move the file to where you want it to be saved and um, once you've done that and once you're happy with your video you've got it edited and you like it it's as simple as a google doc sheet or slide to share it all you have to do on the right hand side is click the share button enter the email address of the people you want to share it with or do you know just share the link if you want to anyone with the link can do it copy that link send it to them and when they when they click on that link this is what they're going to see so if i hit the play button this will give a preview of what the other person's going to see so you can hit this play button at any point before you've shared it just to preview what you've made and what the other person's going to see when they view it so if i hit that if they were to Start click recording. on the link after i've sent so now it, whatever i do on this let me just mute that audio um this is what they'll see. So that is just a screen recording of what I just did, as you saw earlier on. Um, so as you can see, it's got the mouse cursor in there and it's just doing everything that Loom does. So it's really handy and a great way of doing it. Once you're happy with seeing that, uh, once you you know, want to finish seeing your preview, um, just click on this icon down here. Oh no, that icon makes it big. Uh, click on the cross icon in the top right hand corner and you'll go back to the editing screen. Um, there is one other thing that you might want to do. You can add and remove extra elements to this video. So say you've recorded this and you want to record another section about something else. All you need to do is click the insert button and hit recording. And it will go back to that screen that I showed you right at the start where you go and select and you pick, uh, pick which uh, tab and things you want to record. And once you've recorded that video, you'd hit the insert button again and it will just get added to your timeline. And then you can edit that as well. So you can always add more video to it afterwards. It doesn't have to be a one take thing. But that is essentially how you use Google vid Vids to replace Loom and any other subscription service you might be using to uh, capture your screen and, and share data with people, share, share guides and things. So give it a go. And I think for most people, you'll be able to use this as a fantastic screen sharing tool. And of course, the file stays in Google Drive, so you keep control of it as well. So give it a go, and I think you'll enjoy it.